Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing song number 36 from Gitanjali which is the very first poem of your syllabi. This song has been taken uh from a collection of poems known as Gitanjali which was published in 1912 and it is written by a very great poet and writer Rabindranath Tagore. I'm sure uh, you must uh, already have read very many poems written by this great poet. We all know he wrote both in his mother tongue Bengali and in English also. And the most important thing which we must know about this great man is that he is the author of Indian national anthem Jan Gan Man. In almost all his works, Rabindranath Tagore always gave us the message of human brotherhood. Coming to this particular song, this song is a prayer to God. We all pray to God, right? Similarly, in this particular poem, the poet Rabindranath Tagore is also making a very polite and sweet prayer to god and what does he pray he prays to god to root out narrow mindedness from his heart and give him strength to bear all joys and sorrows of life without any tension not only this he also tells god that he loves to work in accordance with the will of god and that is why he requests god to give him strength to surrender himself to god in your exams you will be asked two type of questions regarding this uh, particular poem what are they they'll be asking uh, you to answer short answer questions and then there can be one uh, question uh, which is uh, of a little uh, you can say uh, not very short and not very big one but uh, say around 100 to 120 words then you have to answer that particular question also so what does that mean that we have to understand this poem that is why i'll be explaining each and every line for you just concentrate and listen to me and uh, you will find that when we try to read in between the lines as i told you in your previous years jab aap pehle school mein the aapko poem padhai jati thi to usme aapko word meaning bataye jate the usme aapko explain kiya jata tha the same things we are also going to do but what is the difference between a higher education and a secondary education the difference lies in when now you have to study you have to be a mature reader now what does that mean when you are going to read this particular poem or any other poem try to understand the meaning which the poet wants to convey through that particular line i will explaining much more when we come to the text so let's quickly come to the text read together and very many things are going to be clear so here it is The poet says This is my prayer to thee my lord strike strike at the root of penury give me the strength lightly to bear my joys and sorrows let's explain it in the very first line in very clear words rabindranath tagore the poet says This is my prayer to thee. What is thee? Thee means you. Y O U. You. In very many poems, you must have read uh, this particular word, thee, or thou. That is old English word which means you. So he is addressing Lord Almighty God, and he is telling that this is my prayer. This song is a kind of a prayer to you. And what does he pray? क्या प्रे कर रहा है गॉड से द फर्स्ट थिंग ही सेज स्ट्राइक स्ट्राइक 
at the root of penury. Penury is poverty. Now here the poet is using imagery. What is imagery? Jab hum directly koi baat kehne ke batayin, एक इमेज क्रिएट करते हैं एक पिक्चर क्रिएट करने की कोशिश करते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्ड्स दैट इज नोन एज इमेजरी सो दैट व्हेन द रीडर रीड्स इट जब वो पढ़ता है कोई भी हम लोग जैसे अब पढ़ रहे हैं तो हमारे सामने इन वर्ड्स को देख के एक पिक्चर क्रिएट हो रही है एक इमेज क्रिएट हो रही है एंड वॉट इज दैट इमेज इट इज द इमेज ऑफ अ वुड कटर यू मस्ट हैव सीन जब वो लकड़हारा जो है वो पेड़ को काटने की कोशिश करता है तो वॉट डज इट डू क्या करता है वो ही स्ट्राइक्स एट द रूट ऑफ द ट्री वाई बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट्स टू रूट आउट जड़ से काटना एंड दिस इज वॉट द पोइट इज प्रेइंग ही इज टेलिंग गॉड ओ गॉड दिस इज माई प्रेयर टू यू काइंडली वॉट यू डू यू स्ट्राइक एट द वेरी रूट ऑफ माई पॉवर्टी पॉवर्टी को तुम खत्म कर दो लेकिन कैसे खत्म करो ऊपर ऊपर से नहीं उसको रूट से ही निकाल दो इरेडिकेट कर दो रूट आउट कर दो नो वॉट इज दैट पॉवर्टी द पोइट इज पुअर उसके पास कपड़े नहीं हैं घर नहीं है पैसे नहीं है ये पॉवर्टी नो हेयर द पोइट रेफर्स टू पॉवर्टी विच मीन्स द लैक ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल स्ट्रेंथ लैक कमी किस चीज की कमी होना पैसे की कमी नहीं किस चीज की कमी लैक ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल स्ट्रेंथ विच ही थिंक्स इज द रूट कॉज ऑफ ऑल द सफरिंग्स इन द वर्ल्ड द पोइट फील्स दैट इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑल पीपल आर सफरिंग वाई आर दिस सफरिंग इट्स बिकॉज दे आर पुअर वॉट काइंड ऑफ पॉवर्टी डू डू दे हैव दे हैव द पॉवर्टी विच इज ड्यू टू the lack of spiritual strength which in turn happens to be the root cause of all the sufferings in the world this is what the poet is praying he is praying to god to root this out from his heart because he wants his heart to be full of goodness this is And one way of telling god that oh god just give us strength that we should be neutral in both the ways whether we get something which is very very good which makes us happy whether there is something for which we feel sad again we should be thankful to god in both the cases whether it is joy or whether it is sorrow in the very next line he prays to god and tells god o oh god never let me bend before an insolent might what is might the powerful person insolent rude behavior of that person sometimes we feel that uh, uh, those persons who are very very powerful we go to them and uh, they behave very rudely he says give me the strength that i should have self respect with me and i should never ever bend before what they are telling me to do i should help poor and needy but at the same time no person with his rude behavior should dominate in other words i should not bow before the rude behavior of the powerful that means tagor i think fully knows that no one in this world is more powerful than god god is only one who is the most powerful then why should we bend before anybody else what do we mean by trifles we all know trifles choti moti baatein which means unimportant and irritating events which are caused by narrow mindedness and which take place every day it keeps on happening every day so the poet prays to god to grant him strength to raise his head above the daily trifles tagore he wants to get rid of such things chutkara pana chahta hai aisi cheezon se and he wants to rise above all those mean activities means tuch choti which would never give him real happiness he will be happy only when he rises above these 
ट्रिफल्स जो डेली छोटी छोटी इरिटेटिंग बातें होती हैं उन सब से वो ऊपर उठना चाहता है एंड नाउ द लास्ट फोर मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल लाइन्स ऑफ द सॉन्ग द पोइट सेज गिव मी द स्ट्रेंथ टू राइज माई माइंड हाई अबाव डेली ट्रिफल्स एंड गिव मी द स्ट्रेंथ टू सरेंडर माई स्ट्रेंथ टू दाई विल विद लव एंड वॉट डज ई वॉन्ट ही सेज गिव मी द स्ट्रेंथ टू सरेंडर स्ट्रेंथ टू द विल टू दाई विल विद लव टैगोर स्ट्रांगली बिलीव दैट गॉड इज ऑल पावरफुल and god is the source of all strength so he wants to work in accordance with the will of god jaise hum kehte hai na tera paana meetha lage so he says give me the strength to surrender jab hum parmatma ke aage surrender kar dete hain ki jo aap kar rahe ho bilkul theek kar rahe ho and give me the strength to follow your guidelines so this is what the poet is praying but in the very last line he says strength to die will surrender kahan karna hai parmatma ki ichha ke aage aur kaise surrender karna hai with love willingly yani ki naraz ho ke acha aisa mere man ka nahi hua to chalo koi baat nahi god ne kiya it's okay par man mein khush nahi hona no in the very last line very beautifully tagore adds strength to die will with love he wants to work in total accordance with the will of god so what actually uh, rabindranath tagore prays to god there are three main things let's sum up he prays to god number 1 to root out narrow mindedness from his heart why because this will give him strength to bear all joys and sorrows of life without any tension and the next thing which he prays to god is to grant him strength to serve mankind and raise his head above all trifles what are trifles small things in life and thirdly he wants to bow before god's will with this we come to the end of this poem This is a beautiful song we all must uh, learn from this thing and what do we learn that we all should uh, pray to god for these things that uh, service to god means service to humanity we all should try to help in whatever little ways kitni bhi choti tarike se bade tarike se jis tarah se bhi hum kisi ke kaam aa sake wo hame karna chahiye the way uh, the poet is praying to god we should also pray that all is good in this world and whatever god has given us we should be satisfied with that and we should uh, live fully in accordance with the will of god with this we come to the end of the explanation of this particular song god bless you take care and we will meet soon thank you